guys, today's live astrolic flow on Instagram is about exploring softness and ease, which is some of the principles in Strala Yoga. We're going to go over as well breath body connection, um, moving from the middle, and adding on to that how softness and ease will enable you to do more. Find a comfortable position to sit in and start to settle in. Bring your attention to your inhales and exhales. Maybe a nice sway side to side to get extra comfy here. Maybe do some gentle rotations around your neck. Side to side if that feels good. And bring your attention into your inhales and exhales again. Notice how each inhale lifts and opens you up. And in the exhale, softening a little bit more. And doing a gentle body scan, starting from the top of your head. Slowly moving all the way down. Just noticing if there's tension anywhere. Maybe in your eyes, jaws, or shoulders. You should restore a lot of tension there throughout the day. And see if you can soften a little bit more. When you're ready, Float your arms up high. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Settling in. Big and inhale through your nose. And long exhale out your mouth. Two more times. Big inhale. And long exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Gently relaxing your arms, your hands on top of your thighs here. We're going to drop your right shoulder towards the inside. See how that feels if you want to come a little bit lower. Maybe a nice easy stretch here. And all the way up, same on the other side. Dropping your left shoulder forward. to the middle. Gentle twist towards the left. Big and help to lengthen your spine. Then easy twist as you look backwards. Bring your back hand across the opposite knee and drop your head and neck for another easy roll here. Maybe a nice sway. I'm rounding all the way up. Same on the other side. Easy twist on your right. Lengthening. And twisting as you look backwards. And bring your back hand across the opposite knee and drop your head and neck for another easy roll here. And rounding all the way up, walking your hands behind you one step at a time, leaning towards the back. If you want to lift your hips, go ahead. And easy, coming all the way to the middle. Crawling in front of you, one step at a time. Maybe coming down to your elbows if that feels good. Or staying up on your palms. Focusing on your inhales and exhales. Rounding all the way up. We'll meet on our hands and knees. Taking your time to find a comfortable stance here. And settling here, maybe rolling side to side, forward and back. 
and just remembering to connect your breath to your body, letting each movement start from the middle. Gently lean towards your right side. Big and help to twist and open up. Maybe your left hand comes all the way up. And easy exhale coming all the way back. Same on the other side here. Lean left, big and how to twist and open up. And easy exhale, waiting in the middle. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back into a downward dog here. Settling in, relaxing your head and neck. Gentle bend on your elbows and knees. Find a good spot here if there's too much tension in your wrist, make sure to shorten your stance. And a nice sway side to side as you open the back of your legs. Settling in. Next inhale, lift your heels all the way up to your tippy toes for one. And knees exhale all the way down. Two more times here. Big and hold up. And easy, settle in. One more time, big and help to lift up to your tippy toes. And exhale, coming all the way down. Tuck your chin as we slowly crawl all the way up into a plank pose. Nice long wave here. Settling in. Rocking forward and back. Side to side. You know, not locking anything here. Staying soft and movable. Side plank on your right. Lean right, big and hug to stretch. And easy, exhale, coming all the way to the middle. Same on the other side. Nice opening here, leading with your breath. And exhale. Softening your elbows. We'll come all the way down to your bellies. Tug your toes big and hug all the way up. We'll do this two more times. Softening all the way down. And big and hug to lift. One more time, softening all the way down. And tuck your toes, lift all the way up. Good. Coming back into a downward dog. I know, this was a little bit of a energize right here. And then we'll crawl towards the front of your mat, one step at a time. Stay nice and soft. Again, not locking your joints. We're just sliding side to side with our weight. And whenever you reach the top, stay folded here. Finding a comfortable stance, relaxing your head and neck. And rounding all the way up to standing one notch at a time. Once you reach it, how big and how full your hands up high. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Settling in. Closing your eyes to tune in if that feels good. Just want you to notice how your body feels right now. See if you can maybe soften your knees a little bit. Test of your movable sway <laughs> side to side, more than back, going smooth criminal here. <laughs> Just see. Sometimes our stance is too short, like our legs are too close together, so we can't really move from one side to another. So it's important to always find a comfortable base so you can also soften and let your breath move you. Rounding all the way forward. Interlace your fingertips behind you. Relax your head and neck for a nice shoulder release. And letting go of your fingertips, lean towards your right. Slide your left leg behind. Low lunge from here. Rocking forward and back or side to side. And whenever you're comfortable, relax your knee and your foot on the mat. So staying here for a couple of deep, long breaths. If you want to Stay up here if you want to come further up. See how that feels for your knees and your hips. If you want to explore around, that's also a good option. Feel free to adjust and find whatever stretch works for you best at the moment. Because our bodies are different from one day to another. And just listen to what your body needs right now. Letting your inhale and exhale scroll through. And when you're ready, straightening your arms, keeping your knee on the mat, tuck the back toes as you shift your hips for a runner stretch. 
bring your torso over your thigh. You can sit on your heels if that feels good. If you want to come higher up, gentle bend on the knees. And letting your inhales and exhales do all the hard work. Stay nice and soft here. Notice I'm not locking anything. I'm still movable by my breath. And slowly crawling all the way towards the front. Tuck the back toes, lift your knee as you lean towards the left side and easy and help to twist and open up to your right. And bring your hand back to the mat. Lift your hips, ground your back heel behind you as you fold your torso over. Gentle bend on both knees. Letting your inhales and exhales flow through. And we'll gently sink our hips into another low lunge here, crawling through the middle. Again, stay nice and soft so I can move. I'm going to come to a high lunge. If I do it right from here and try to bring myself up, it's going to be a lot more challenging and I'm pulling a muscle on the side. But if you work with your body, staying soft, coming through the middle, big and help to roll all the way up. See how that feels. And coming all the way down, plant your left hand on the mat, nice open stance, and then we're going to slide that front leg all the way towards the back for another plank pose here. Finding your way back, side plank on your right, big and help to open up. Nice stretch. Easy, so coming all the way to the middle, same on the other side, nice opening here. And easy, exhale, soften your elbows, come all the way down, and interlace your fingertips behind you. Any shoulder release, maybe a nice swing side to side. Planting your palms outside your chest. We'll crawl through the middle. Tuck your toes. Lift your belly all the way up into a downward dog here. Settling in. And walking towards the front of your mat one step at a time. And again, stay nice and soft. Bending your knees here. Rocking from one side to another. Once you reach the top, we'll slowly round all the way up to standing one notch at a time. Big and how to float your arms up high. And easy, exhale, folding forward. Leaning towards your left foot, slide your right leg behind for a low lunge on this side. Rocking forward and back and side to side until you're comfortable enough to drop your knee and your foot on the mat. So same thing here, any variation that feels good if you want to adjust and move your leg to the side, staying up high, down low, nice and easy. Listen to what your body needs right now. If there's any spot you want to linger in, just let your inhales and exhales carry you through. And whenever you're ready, straighten your arms, keeping your knee on the mat, tuck the back toes as you slowly shift your hips towards the back for a runner stretch. Folding your torso over your thigh, and relaxing your head and neck here. Where any version that feels the most comfortable and useful for you right now. Be nice and soft again. No need to clench or lock anything. Make space for yourself to move. And then slowly crawling all the way out into a low lunge, tucking the back toes, lift your knee as you lean towards the left and big and help to twist and open up. Easy, exhale, coming all the way down. Lift your hips, ground your back heel behind you as you fold your torso forward. Relaxing your head and neck. Easy bend on both knees. And slowly sinking your hips into another low lunge here. Nice and sturdy. Remember what we did on the other side. Crawling through the middle, big and help to round all the way up. And easy, exhale, coming all the way down, leaning on your right hand. Enough space so you can slide that foot all the way back into a plank pose here. Slide plank on your right, big and help to open up. Good, and exhale, coming all the way to the middle, same on the other side. Nice opening. And easy, exhale, this time lift your hips up and back into another downward dog. We'll walk towards the front of the mat one step at a time. No rush here. 
Stay nice and soft. Don't walk anything. Let your body follow around almost as if you're a zombie <laughs> walking towards the front of the mat. And then we'll slowly round all the way up to standing. Big inhale, float your arms up high. Easy exhale. We're gonna sit into a chair pose here. Nice and comfortable stance, sinking your hips towards the back. Big inhale to lift up. And easy twist towards your right. Inhale, pulls you back up. Easy twist to the other side. One more time on each side. Big inhale to lift. And easy twist. One more time. Big inhale. And twisting to the other side. And coming all the way up. Float your arms up high. Easy exhale. Folding over. Interlace your fingertips behind you. And relax your head and neck. Nice and easy. Gently releasing your fingertips. Leaning towards your right foot. Slide your left leg behind. Low lunge from here. Crawling all the way up to your high lunge. And easy exhale, settle here. Big inhale, let your breath move you. And exhale, sinking your hip a little bit more. Oop, one more time, big inhale. And easy exhale, twisting towards your left, round your back heel, and face your front toes towards the outside of the mat here. Settling in for a nice warrior two. Anything you want to do, if how you landed was a good stance, stay here. If you want to adjust and make sure you're more comfortable and movable, <laughs> do a wiggle test to see if you're still stable. And whenever you're ready, big inhale, float your arms up high. And easy exhale, settling in for a couple of deep, long breaths. Notice that I'm never completely still or clenching anything. Find a way to find ease in this pose. Maybe relax your muscles a little bit. You're still getting the benefits of yoga. You're just not fighting against yourself. And let your inhale and exhale gently move through you. And whenever you have enough big inhale, pull your arms up high. And easy exhale, settling. One more time. Big inhale to pull you up. And easy, exhale, settle it. Next inhale, we're gonna tip all the way towards the back. Nice long stretch. And moving from the middle, coming all the way to the front. Tip it forwards, forward on your thigh. Big and help to curl your belly open here. Do this one more time. Let your left hand pull you up or your two. Easy reverses you. Lean backwards. And tipping all the way to the front. Forearm on your thigh, big and help to curl your belly open. Now softening both knees as you bring your right fingertips towards the mat. Open triangle here. If you want to lengthen the front leg, go ahead. Make sure there's no pain. And softening both knees so we can switch sides and easy twist to the other side. And one more time on this side, softening the knees, nice, easy opening. Coming all the way to the middle, lift your hips, ground your back heel behind you as you fold your torso over. Relaxing your head and neck, gentle bend on both knees. And staying nice and movable here, soft on the knees. We're gonna lean towards the back as we crawl towards the front for warrior three here. Lifting your hips up high, gentle bend on both knees. No need to rock anything. I know this is new, have you been following these flows? I don't think we've done this before, but just see how your body feels. And we'll slowly run all the way up to standing, no rush here, bringing everything towards the middle, maybe hugging your knee close by. And easy exhale, stepping that foot behind for a low lunge. Nice and steady on both feet. Big and help to pull you up. And easy exhale, coming all the way down, leaning towards your left hand as you slide that front leg all the way back into a plank pose. This time dropping your knee and your hips right up dog here. Nice and easy. Gentle sway side to side, and that's too much. Always come towards the middle or lower down here. See how that feels. Any variation that feels good for you. And 
and leaning on our hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips and belly up and back into another downward dog here. You know the drill, slowly walking towards the front of the mat, one set at a time. Once you reach the top, slowly rounding all the way up. Big and healthy, pull your hands up high. Another chair from here, sink your hips into a chair. Big and how to lift. Easy twist towards the right. Big and how coming all the way up. Same on the other side, just one more time here. Big and how lift. And easy exhale, folding over. Interlace your fingertips behind you, gentle bend on the knees. And releasing your fingertips, lean towards your left foot. Slide that right leg behind, low lunge on this side. Crawling through the middle, nice and soft. Big and help hold you up. And easy exhale, settling. One more time. Big and help hold you up. Exhale, sinking a little bit more for your hips. Next inhale, we'll lift. And easy opening towards the right. Ground your back heel as you face your front toe towards the outside of your mat. And settling here. Any version of warrior two that feels good. Make sure. You have a comfortable, movable stance. You're not wobbly. Find a comfortable base here. Feel free to adjust your foot at any time. Just find the support that you need so you can enjoy this pose. And whenever you're ready, big inhale, pull your arms up high. And easy exhale, settling here. Arms wide open, softening your elbows, your shoulders. Find a way to let your Inhales and exhales roll through you. Notice if there's any tension anywhere or if you're clenching anything. Just let your inhales and exhales move along. And when you're ready, big inhale, pull everything up. Easy exhale, settling in. One more time, big inhale, pull up. And easy exhale to settle. Next inhale, we're gonna tip all the way towards the back. Nice long stretch. And easy exhale, tipping to the front, moving from the middle. Bring your forearm on your thigh. Big inhale to curl your belly open. We'll do this one more time. Let your right hand pull you back to warrior two. Easy leaning towards the back. Nice reverse. And tipping all the way to the front. Forearm on your thigh. Big and how to open up. And softening both knees. Bring your left fingertips towards the mat here. Open triangle on this side. You want to lengthen the front leg. Go ahead. Make sure there's no pain. And one side might feel different than the other. That's perfectly normal. Find any version that works best for you. And softening both knees for switch sides here. Easy twist to open up. And one more time switching side here. Being soft on the knees so we're movable. Another nice opening here. And coming all the way to the middle, lift your hips as you ground your back here behind you and fold your torso forward. Gentle bend on both knees, relaxing your head and neck. Now softening both legs, we're going to lean towards the back as we crawl all the way forward into a warrior three here, putting some weight on the standing leg, gentle bend on both knees, balancing with your fingertips, just remember not to walk or clench anything here, anything that's comfortable, and we'll slowly round all the way up to standing, one notch at a time, no rush here, maybe hugging your knee close by. And easy exhale, stepping that foot behind you for another low lunge. Nice and steady on both feet, crawling through the middle, high lunge. And easy exhale, coming all the way down, leaning towards your right side. Slide that front leg all the way back into another plank pose here, finding your comfortable stance. And then side leg on your right, one more time, big opening. Easy exhale, all the way to the middle, same on the other side. Big, nice stretch. And easy exhale, dropping your knees and your hips for another up dog on this side. Nice, 
side to side. Bring your shoulder blades together, big and healthy. Big and easy, exhale, coming through the middle. Easy sway. All the way down here. If you want to try interlacing your fingertips behind you, another nice, easy stretch, go ahead. Planting your palms, coming up on all fours here. Anything you want to roll around here, maybe side to side, forward and back. This is, has an opportunity to explore and linger in, spot you want to linger in. You want to point your fingertips towards your knee, maybe one hand at a time, maybe both of them. See how that feels. Fingertips towards the front. We're going to thread our right hand under the left one, coming all the way down to the mat on your shoulders. If that feels good. And letting your inhales and exhales flow through. Switching sides, coming through the middle, threading your opposite hand to the other side. Big inhales and exhales. all the way to the middle. Sink your hips for a child pose here, any version that feels good. If you want to bring your forehead to the mat, you want to try opening your knees, sinking your hips, maybe dropping your arms and your chest. That might feel like a nice release. Any version that's more comfortable for you. Try to bring attention to your inhales and exhales. How each inhale of your body opens up and the exhale softening a little bit more. Almost as if you're melting into the mat. Feels good. When you're ready, big inhale, float your arms up high. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heart. Settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Big inhale through your nose. And long exhale out your mouth. Two more times. Big inhale, and long exhale, one more time, big inhale, and long exhale. And do another body scan, starting from the top of your head. Just noticing, moving all the way down to your forehead, your eyes. If you notice any tension, frowning, maybe soften a little bit more. And all the way down through your nose, your mouth, your jaw. Through your spine, 
your hips, your thighs. Thank you for joining along.